Don't you love the ocean? There's something about the water that just makes me feel right at home. Whether I'm at the beach or sitting here by the lighthouse, gazing out at the huge expanse of water just brings me peace. I try to visit the beach as often as I can, but on the days I can't visit, it's nice to have a little reminder. So I created a neat little keepsake to have in my room that would always remind me of the ocean. On today's episode of Quick Science, we're going to learn how to make a mock ocean environment that you can keep right at your desk. This is it, my ocean jar. It's really easy to make and you can be as creative as you want, which is really great. In the jar, I have two liquids. And as you can see, they are not mixing together. One appears to be floating on top of the other. This all happens because of a simple concept called density. Density is the amount of mass an object has in relation to its volume. Basically, it just means how much something weighs compared to how big it is. So here I have water and corn syrup. Water has a density of one gram per milliliter, while corn syrup has a density of 1.38 grams per milliliter. Since water is less dense than corn syrup, it will naturally stack itself right on top of the corn syrup. You can actually try stacking multiple types of liquids, creating a cool column. Try using liquid soap, rubbing alcohol, vegetable oil, maple syrup, corn syrup, and water. Put them together and see how they stack up. origami boat. It has a density that's in between water and corn syrup. So when I put it in here, it's going to sink in the water but float on the corn syrup. If you like this video, please subscribe. And be sure to watch out for our next three videos, which will be all about Halloween.